Hey everyone, Cleo here. Um, I'm finally doing it because I've been postponing. I've been procrastinating so much this month. There's a lot of videos that I want to film, I want to get out there, but for some reason we are now the 12th of July and I still haven't filmed my June wrap up, my July TBR. Uh, and some of the other videos that I have, um, like on the radar that I really want to get to. So, without further ado, I'm going to be starting, kicking off this video month by uh, giving you guys my July TBR, of which I've already read three books, by the way. Uh, so I won't go into like my feelings on these books if I've already finished them. Uh, that's for the end of the month. Or like, yeah, whenever I feel like getting to it, apparently. So the first one is a takeover from June, and that is The Overstory by Richard Powers. So I started this in the month of June. Uh, I was absolutely loving it by the time I was getting to the month of July. And okay, I'll spoil this one. I still absolutely love it, though I have... I do find flaws. So when I went into it, I didn't really know too much except that it was in some way about trees. But so it's a book with a very interesting structure. So uh, we are first introduced to nine different characters who have a tree be some essential part of their life. Either it is um, the fact that they had happy memories as kids going out to camping trips in the woods, or um, it can be that um, one guy. Uh, gets saved by a tree, uh, another one basically uh, is, is paralyzed by falling out of a tree. So it's all of these type of types of different relationships that these people have with um, trees. And these nine different, um, like basically these nine different background stories form the roots of the story, the roots of the tree that this book is creating. And then uh, we get more of intermingling between the characters in the trunk part of the story. And then we move on to the crown and to the seeds. So this entire book is structured around a tree and uh, it's basically about um, trees and how trees are disappearing and the fight to have uh, to keep trees in our world, in our lives. Um, but so yeah, The Overstory by Richard Powers, first book for the month. Finished it the first day of the month, I think, but okay. Well, probably I actually do a separate review for this one because I have a lot to say about it. Second book that I read is basically, um, so I finished the overstory I think on the first day of July or second or something like that, so very early on in July. And um, whereas I had a certain plan for my TBR, I didn't really want to continue with the second part of my TBR just yet. So I kind of looked for an intermediary book and an intermediary book has taken me on like an entire side rail. And so the intermediary book was The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden. Now uh, I got this book uh, from a giveaway that was hosted by Yasmina Edina, which is a fellow booktuber. I will link her channel down below. So she was hosting a giveaway um, for reaching a certain subscriber count uh, and I decided to join in and luckily I won. And so I got to choose like two books for a certain value and this is one of them. Second one I sadly still haven't gotten around to neither, but I'm very happy that I now got around to this one because um, I've since continued on to read the second book and currently busy with the third one. So The Bear and the Nightingale and the entire Winter Night trilogy um, is a fantasy story set in ancient Russia and uh, we follow our main protagonist who is called Fasia and um, she's very much trying to break the stereotypical uh, female roles in uh, ancient Russia so she's very much more on the wild side and uh, she very much takes after um, her grandmother who apparently as we find out in like the first chapter had some sort of a magical power and so um, she is very much linked to the ancient religion, to folklore, to the uh, spirits are roaming, uh, who are roaming the forests and the houses and things like that. And so in this trilogy uh, we are very much focusing on a sort of clash between the old way of seeing the world which is with its, spirit, <laughs> its spirits, its legends, its um, its many nature gods uh, versus the new world that is kind of um, 
getting introduced through Moscow and probably through the West, um, and that is, which is like the the world of religion. And so uh, Vasya is then very much more representative of the old world of the spirits, uh, the house spirits, for example, or spirits of the trees of the of nature, um, uh, and she's very much being contained by society, which very much moves more according to um, the restrictions of uh, Christianity. Now, I absolutely loved this first book. Uh, I've since read the second book and I'm currently on to the third one. So these are also on my TBR. So the second book I also have physically, which is The Girl in the Tower. Uh, the third book is not available in this size uh, paperback yet, so uh, I'm currently listening to it on audiobook. I must say that I'm currently enjoying the third one a little bit less. I don't know whether it is because of the audiobook, whether I would have preferred to read it in, um, yeah, in written format. Uh, but so I'll let you know at the end of the month when I finish the entire series, uh, my thoughts on them and like on the evolution of the story. Uh, so far, the first one is definitely my favorite. Um, but yeah, we'll see what I feel about it when I finish them all. And now there are two more books on my TBR for the month of July. There were basically going to be three books on there <laughs> and then these three suddenly happened. So um, the two others that are on the list are more like the first book that I mentioned, like the overstory by Richard Powers. The reason I'm reading this book is because they were nominated for the Man Booker Prize in 2018. The long list for the Booker Prize for 2019 will be published at the end of this month on the 24th of July and I want to make sure that I've gone through at least a sh well, that I've gone through the shortlist for the Booker Prize for 2018 by then. Um, the first one I'm going to mention is Everything Under by Daisy Johnson. Um, so I have two books left and this is one of them, the other one will be the second one. Uh, now Everything Under by Daisy Johnson, I don't know too much about the story, I want to keep it like that. As far as I'm aware it has some um, references to a fairy tale, I think maybe to um, um, Hansel and Gretel but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I haven't heard too many great things about it. I've heard a lot of people say that they couldn't get into it and that they didn't really like it. Uh, I hope to be an exception to this. Uh, it's relatively short, but still, uh, when a book is kind of a drag or something, it can take forever. So it's somewhere in the 200 pages, 260 or something like that. So I'm hoping that I won't have too much problems with this, uh, which is, yeah, the dread that I'm currently expressing is the reason why I had to put some books in between there, because I totally loved the overstory by Richard Powers and I didn't, I wasn't willing to read something disappointing right after. So um, we'll see where that goes for me. And then the final one is one that I know almost even, even less about, and that is The Long Take by Robin Robertson. Uh, as far as I'm aware, it's somewhat of a different uh, writing style. Um, you can see also it has like pictures in it and things like that, but um, a page is also like, I, don't, I hope you can see it, but a page is like very, there's not too much in there, it seems to be more like, par like short paragraphs, maybe even uh, poetry lines in there, so uh, I'm very interested and very curious to see what it's gonna be like. Uh, yeah, I just saw a very nice picture, so I just wanted to show it. So it has very nice pictures in it, uh, and I am very much interested in photography as well, and I do take some photography as well uh, on site, so it would be interesting, I hope. Uh, so these are the two ones that are left in my TBR. I'm not entirely sure whether I'll be able to finish anything else in it. I mean, it's already going to be a super successful month because, like, uh, last month I finished with three books and uh, usually I finish with like four. Uh, I think the month of June was also, no, the month of May I mean was also a very successful month. Um, but so yeah, this one has definitely so far been super good for me uh, and I hope to be able to continue on this trend. But so yeah, uh, like and subscribe if you like my content. Um, I have no fixed scheduling. <laughs> as it has been clearly indicated throughout this video. But so yeah, I film whenever, I post whenever. Sometimes there are a lot of breaks in between there. Sometimes I produce a lot of videos shortly, uh, like in short succession. But so yeah, I hope you will forgive me for these sort of uh, irregularities. But in any case, see you guys. Bye.